Hello, this is James Billingsley. This is a recording to touch on some of the layout options available in Context version 7, and also take a look at cliques and how they can be used as part of your investigation toolset. Here we're looking at a case-wide view of our data ready for analysis in Context. The 10 bubbles give us the ability to dive straight into key data, key data types, and key forensic artifacts in our case using hard-coded logic to draw out the important data. Double-clicking on a bubble, we're able to expand out the items contained within. So let's say we want to start exploring internet history activity. Here we can expand out that bubble with 432 items. And we can set our zoom level using the new zoom panel in the bottom left-hand corner of the interface. And we'll zoom out a bit here so we can start to better arrange uh, our data. In the top left hand corner we can access the layout menu and start to use different layout views to better understand our data. The grouping shape is defined by the vertical option choice in this table, so column, island or timeline. And the grouping method is divine, defined by the horizontal option choice in the table, group by case, evidence, custodian, mime type, tags, bubbles or custom metadata. So let's change our grouping rule to custodian. And we can also use the color by area to color the data and we'll choose here to color by evidence set. And this makes the visual even easier to interpret. These different groupings and coloring options are great in enabling you to chop and organize your data up to quickly understand it, understand where it comes from, who it's associated with, what type of data it is, and the relevance of the data. With a better understanding of the makeup of your data, you can more easily make decisions about the next steps and more quickly target your key data. Now let's right click and focus on the device access bubble in a new context tab here. This bubble shows all of the registry keys relating to removable devices and any link files detailing file access. And using this data, I want to show you one of the most powerful layouts for me, and it's the go-to layout for most of my analysis work in context. First, if we glance at the timeline at the bottom of the visual, we can see how the file system time and dates are distributed. And we can even sweep this timeline to highlight some of the items in scope here. And we'll see this date range stated for us in digits in the center there. And it's a timeline view, which we'll change to now, which is my preferred option for item analysis, group by evidence set and arrange on the timeline here. At a glance this shows me the distribution of the data access records per evidence over time. So let's say for example we really wanted to focus on device access occurring within the last month in this data, we could immediately focus in on these three artifacts on the right here. What I'm going to show you now is what we call cliques. Cliques is a functionality which allows us to look for common strings across all of the metadata of our items. So any metadata value that is common to multiple items. We'll select all of our items in scope. And then we will launch Cliques. And we'll see this menu appear in the top right hand corner. And this is quite a large menu, so this really works best in full screen mode. And we can do this by simply double clicking on the top of the window there. So this is a list of all common metadata values stored by frequency. So having a look at some frequently occurring metadata strings in this list, we may quickly learn some new interesting information about our data that we didn't know before. If we scroll down here, and we'll take this entry as an example. There's quite a few references across this data to the location C, documents and settings, deliver, my documents, other. So it's a fair bit of access relating to this folder. And if we hover over our entry, it'll highlight the items in the view that contain that value. So from here, we may want to select those, which we can do by ticking this entry at the top. You'll see we now have 14 items selected. Or alternatively, we could throw those to a new tab for analysis, or we may even want to just exclude those items from view if we deem that a group of items is irrelevant to us. You'll also notice these search boxes at the top of the cliques menu here. These can be used to target specific metadata we're interested in. For example, if we just type the keyword serial in this box here, 
It then filters down to show us the clique groups which have the metadata property drive serial number. And we can see three different drive serial number groups in this data. And we can make a note of these and hovering over these again will allow us to see which evidence items in our date range are associated with these different devices. I may even want to use a timeline layout grouped by this custom metadata value to make it easier to view the results. So here I can go back to our layout menu, select custom metadata grouping, properties, and if I again enter our keyword serial, I can find our metadata there. And we can now see our timeline updated to show records associated with each drive serial number, each different computer hard drive or flash drive accessed, and also items at the top which have no drive serial number available. So clicks can be a very powerful way to learn about your data and extract new trends in the metadata through simple analysis steps. So that's a very quick example of some of the changes in the context version 7. We first explored our improved layout menu, making it easier to group arrange and colour your items to understand your data and scope. We also used the new zoom and pan menu area visible in the lower left corner. And we finally took a look at how powerful Clique's feature can be, allowing investigators to explore common metadata values within the data and we extracted common drive serial number values in our example there to show how easy that can be to use. Thanks very much for watching.